Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with HuntFishLife.com. This video here, just a, just a kind of a quick video on the seasonal movements of fish, how they move throughout the, a year, okay? Basically an entire year. And like I said, this is just a basic rundown. This isn't going into great detail or great depth. It just gives you a general idea so that you can kind of follow the fish on your lake and under and have an understanding of what they do throughout the entire year, okay? And this goes for most fish. I mean, not every fish, but most fish this goes for. I know for sure uh, crappie, your bass, your bream, um, your catfish, you know, and a lot of other types of fish that I can't think of off the top of my head. Okay, we're looking here at uh, Lake Maumel here, and I, I picked this little area of the lake here because it has a lot of features that you can kind of look at for a full season of movement that the fish will do. And like I said, it's this is just a quick rundown of what the fish are going to do. So we're going to start with the winter. Okay, and in your winter months, most of your fish are going to be out deep in deep water. They're going to hold up in these drops on drops like this right here, where they have they're they're close to shallow water, but yet there's deep water close by. Uh, where this you, you see this old river channel, it swings close to this ridge. This is an old uh, ridge. You know here that runs down through here and it's river channel swings close to it these are typical areas where you would find fish in the winter time uh, when it's cold the weather's changing back and forth that deeper water stable but yet they can still move up shallow and drop back deep without swimming a long ways you know from swimming from here all the way up in here to get to shallow water they're, they, they're relatively quick here's another one here you know, you got this little point that comes off here, dumps off into this deep water. You know, that's the kind of stuff that you you can find fish on um, in the winter time. Now, you know, so you have this area here, and as spring comes and that water begins to warm, as spring's getting closer and the daylight's getting longer, you've got more radiant heat, the sun's hitting the bottom of the lake longer and warming things up and that water temperature begins to rise when that happens and that temperature starts, there, different fish will trigger at different temperatures. Your crappie usually first are the fish that I've mentioned, your crappie usually first, then your uh, your bass, um, your brim and your catfish, you know, and that's you know, water temperature dictates these fish coming in and they'll, these fish will begin to move shallow when their water temperature, let's just go for bass. Usually bass are right around that 50 degree mark. When that temperature gets around 50 degree mark, these fish will start making that move. And what they're doing is they're moving up here because this would be your their spawning flat, um, you know, or cove. Here's another one they would spawn in. You know, some of these fish will come spawn up in this cove. There's another one just right off the screen right here that you can't see but anyways these any of these fish you know this is another area fish may winter and they'll move towards these areas um, and on their way from here to here they'll make stops I and mean, if you look here you've got this point right here you've got another point right here you've got a point right here these are kind of stop signs okay and then you know say fish were wintering out here because some of the fish are going to winter here you know there you may stop right here um, some fish may winter right there and they're going to move back in here's a little point you know these are stop signs where they're going to stop on their way in and their way out and not every fish is going to spawn at the same time they're going to move in in waves there's going to be wave one wave two wave three how many ever waves i don't know but that's what's going to happen they're going to make a route from the main lake out in the main lake and they're going to move shallow these fish are and as they do that they're going to stop on these points so these points in the pre-spawn these these points these areas of, are are good areas to to check are good areas to fish cover with di you know different types of baits i'm not going to talk about baits in this video this is just a basic rundown uh, of what the fish do in their seasonal movements throughout the entire year but they're going to stop on these points and then 
as that water temperature, like I said with bass, as that water temperature gets up close to that 60 degree mark, these fish are going to be back in here. They're going to spawn, you know, and crappie would have, for the most part, would have already spawned. Brim are coming behind them, and your catfish are coming behind them. And they're going to come in here. They're going to do their spawning. And after they get done spawning, and like I said, they're going to come in waves. Wave one's going to come in. They're going to do their thing, and they're going to move out. And on their way out, they're going to hit a lot of these same spots. They're going to stop here. They're going to stop here. They're going to stop here. And they're going to stop here. So, you know, during the winter, basically you're going to kind of fish out in, you know, these here for the most part. Not always. You can catch fish shallow. It does happen. Tournaments are one like that. Um, tournaments are one deep. But most of your winter fish are going to live out deep in the deep, stable water where it stays from constant temperature for the most part uh, all winter long. Most of your bait are going to be out there. That's the reason. You know, in the spring, your bait are going to move forward. And you're going to also have sh bait spawns too. And think about that. You're going to have your, your, your bait fish are going to spawn and your, your, fish are going to follow them as well throughout that spawn but the bait is going to come in just as well and they're going to move out just as well so as, as your post spawn you have these spots here to stop so at, during pre-spawn you have fish coming in spawning you have fish moving out spawning during the spawn so a lot of these these areas here you can catch fish that are uh, post spawn and pre-spawn on these these what i would call stop signs these secondary points, these things like that, as these fish are working their way into these spawning areas. And this lake here and your lake and any other lake in the United States or in the world are going to have multiple areas like this to where this isn't the only area that holds fish. This is a pretty good area, um, but in my opinion, it's not the best area on Lake Bombell. There are some better um, areas, uh, but this is a pretty good one. So, you know, these fish, after the spawn, they're going to move back out into these these summering areas. Now, the one huge difference from winter to summer is that I've noticed as in the winter time, a lot of times you may find fish and they're here, and they may stay there for like a month and, and not really move months. They may just kind of stay there. And now they move from down deeper to shallower to deeper to shallower, but they'll stay in a relatively small area. Now in the summertime, you may find the fish here on Monday and then on Tuesday they're over here. And then on Wednesday they're over here. They move around a lot more, but they're gonna be in this general area. Uh, but you have to move around a little more for them. They're a lot more aggressive, they're moving a lot, their metabolism's higher, they're feeding, they're eating a lot more, um, and they're just a lot more aggressive fish. For one instance, um, me and my wife came um, practice with fish tournament here last year, a, a Tuesday night to tournament, Tuesday evening tournament, whatever you want to call it. And we found fish on a Sunday, really good fish. I caught a, I'll, I'll show you a picture of a, of a, a three and a half, four pounder I caught. I actually, the re reason I remember him so well is because I broke my rod and tried to boat, flip the fish into the boat and snap my rod in half. But um, I caught two or three fish there that were over three pounds. I was excited. Yeah, I came back on uh, Tuesday of the tournament. They wasn't there. I did end up catching one and losing. I caught like a two and a half pounder over here and then lost one. End up having to move to another part of the lake, catch a couple more good fish. Um, we didn't win that tournament, but we did have some good fish, and I lost a few really good fish that had I would have caught, we would have won the tournament. But hey, that's fishing. Um, you can't do nothing about that. But um, so that's summer. You know, the fish move around a little bit more, but they're for the most part they're going to live out in this deeper water. So now, um, you know, we're going to go from summer to fall, and it's kind of like the spring. These fish will move out from their deeper areas. Now one. Thing is they're real aggressive then at that time too um, and these fish will move from these uh, you know their summering spots and they're gonna move back up shallow and they're following the bait fish the shad things like that are gonna move back up in here shallow um, feed up and they're gonna kind of do the same thing they're gonna stop on a lot of these points and on their way in and out you know, and then back from the fall pattern as they feed up for the winter. And then after the fall, they're gonna move back out here to their wintering spots and then they're gonna spend their winter out in their wintering spots. So I hope you enjoyed that there. Um, I hope it helps you out. I hope that 
you learned something from it. Do me a favor, leave me a comment below in the comment section, like the video, share it with your friends, that'll help me out, help me grow my YouTube channel, help me grow my website, and that's just a way that if you learned something from it, or if this video helped you, that you can return the favor and help me as well. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. For more fishing, hunting information, things like that, you can you can uh, check out huntfishlife.com. If you want to look into just deer hunting stuff, you can go to deerhuntingschool.com. That's one of my websites. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day and bye-bye.